Dylan Robichaud. Once again tonight, it will feel like winter time. Getting a live look outside right now from my downtown Eugene. It is sunny out there and it is just overall uh, really nice out there this afternoon and evening after we got the fog to burn off. Now things are looking really nice out there. Just for the fun of it, one more time, a look in Roseburg, an incredible shot there uh, this afternoon with the fog just kind of clinging to the floor of the Umpqua Basin, but up aloft. Again, we have so much dry air that there is no cloud cover once you get above a couple thousand feet. Uh, because we are kind of in this stagnated air mass, look at the air quality. It is moderate right now in Eugene, and in fact, we do have an air quality alert that has been issued for not just the valleys, but also parts of uh, the central part of Oregon up until Thursday. And so what that means is that the air quality could be reduced over the next couple of mornings because we don't really have any wind or anything to really stir out the pollutants. Temperatures out there, yeah, it gets cold again tonight. We're sitting 43 right now, sweet home 39 in Lebanon and 41 degrees right now currently in the city of Blue River. And as we head down to the south, we're sitting at 50 Myrtle Point, 36 in Oakland. So again, it is chilly out there, but if you don't like the cold air, our days are numbered, our days of cold air, because as we go through Tuesday, we're sitting at 26. By Thursday, we're sitting at 29. And then by the weekend, we start ushering some mild air. And so that will make a world of difference. Consequently, at the same time, that will be when we have our next round of rain moving on in. And in fact, after Tuesday and Wednesday, things get very wet and windy as we head into the upcoming weekend. So again, tomorrow, we have a great day. As we go into tomorrow night, again, a weak system down to our south will bring in some clouds on Wednesday. And we have a slight chance of rain late in the day on Wednesday. But here comes our first of three systems on Thursday. And with this one, we'll have snow levels down to about 3,500 feet. So some good snow coming to the Cascades on Thursday night. Again, Friday night, a whole lot of snowfall coming to the mountain passes. But then as we go into Sunday, now we start getting some warmer air. So now we're looking at rain across the Cascades, not snow. So you get snow and then you add liquid rain on top of that. It won't be a good time for the snowfall. How much rainfall can we expect though? For the valley, look at these numbers. Beginning Thursday, going right through the weekend and into next week, two and a half to three and a half inches of rainfall. The Umpqua Basin, same thing. And along the Oregon coast, we could be talking upwards of over three to four and a half inches of rainfall here. So definitely could do an impact on the drought. Tonight, though, we drop down to the 30s, mid 20s as we head inland. We have the fog tomorrow. The fog goes away as we go into the afternoon. And you'll notice that along the coast, we get some milder air as we get up to about 60 degrees into the afternoon. And there you have it. Rain and wind for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday will be in the 50s for highs, 40s for lows. And across the Umpqua Basin, we are keeping it very cloudy and very wet beginning as early as Thursday and continuing right into the weekend. Pay close attention to the detail of the snow level. You'll notice that snow levels will be very low on Thursday, down to 3,500 feet, staying very low through Friday. And then eventually on Sunday, they increase to 5,500 feet. And then on Monday, 6,500 feet. And at that point, it'll be plain old rain. In the valley, though, we're keeping it foggy tomorrow, cloudy on Wednesday, and then just cool and uh, very damp, Renee, as we go into the end of the week and into next week. Cool and very damp. All right. Yep. All right. Thank you, Dylan. Well, if you're feeling down with the